All right, buckle up, folks, because we are about to embark on the excellent adventure of a lifetime. That's right. We are diving deep into this surprisingly complex world of egg production. We were sent this video by a listener, and let me tell you, after watching this, you will be the most knowledgeable person at brunch. It's incredible how much goes into getting those perfectly uniform cartons of eggs onto our grocery store shelf. Seriously, I mean, in the video, they said the whole process can take as little as 15 minutes, from hen to carton, just like that. It's a remarkably efficient system, blending technology and human expertise in a way that's honestly pretty mind-blowing. Well, we have way more than 15 minutes, so let's crack this thing wide open and explore all the fascinating details. Sounds good to me. Okay, so first things first, we've got to start at the source, right? The poultry farms, where the magic happens. Exactly, and you know, it all begins with those hard-working ants. The farms in the video look so clean and well-maintained, I almost wanted to move in myself. Well, those hens are treated pretty well, that's for sure. But it's not just about providing them with space to roam, it's also about ensuring they have a balanced diet, which is crucial for producing high-quality eggs. Like, what kind of stuff? I mean, what are these gourmet chickens eating? Well, for starters, their diet is rich in calcium. You know, for those nice, strong shells. Nobody wants a flimsy egg. True, cracked eggs are the worst. But what about the color of the yolk? Does that have anything to do with their diet? Absolutely. For example, a diet rich in things like marigolds or alfalfa will give those yolks a beautiful deep orange color. Plus, they pack in more vitamin A. Hmm. I guess that explains why I sometimes see pale yellow yolks at the store. It's fascinating how directly a hen's health and diet translate to the quality and appearance of those eggs. So remember that next time you're picking out a carton. You got it. I'm never looking at a yolk the same way again. So, okay, we've got these perfectly formed eggs in the coop. Now what? How do they get from there to my fridge? Well, they're collected from the coops and then transported to a sorting facility. Uh-huh. This is where things get high tech, right? You bet. But hold on. Before they meet their robotic destiny, there's something super important. Food safety. So they don't just toss them straight into the cartons. There's like a cleaning process or something. Yep, the video showed this gentle washing system they use. It's all approved cleaning agents and warm water. You know, nothing too crazy. That makes sense. I mean, salmonella is no joke, right? So we've got our clean eggs. Now what? Now it's showtime for those sorting machines. Get this. They sort over one billion eggs every day worldwide. A billion. OK. I'm officially mind blown. How do they even keep track of that many eggs? It's gotta be chaos. Well, that's where automation comes in. The video shows these really complex sorting machines. They use optical and acoustic sensors, all kinds of high-tech stuff. Hold up, acoustic sensors, are they like listening to the eggs? Pretty much. They can pick up these tiny vibrations that come from air pockets inside a cracked egg. So even if you can't see a crack, they can hear it. That's wild. And the optical sensors, those are scanning for like tiny cracks, right? The kind you'd never notice yourself. Exactly. They're looking for any imperfection that might compromise the quality of the egg. So by combining these two technologies, they can make sure that only the best of the best make it through. Now, so that's how I always end up with perfect eggs. Those machines are like little egg inspecting superheroes, but it can't all be robots, right? There has to be some human involvement somewhere in this process. You're absolutely right. The human touch is still essential. After the eggs are sorted, they go to the packing area. Oh yeah, the video showed those workers like so carefully placing each egg into the carton. It's like they were handling precious jewels. It's a delicate process, for sure. They're minimizing breakage, ensuring that each egg makes it safely into that garden. They make it look easy, but it takes a lot of skill and precision. So it's teamwork. Robots and humans working in perfect harmony to get us those pristine eggs. Now, speaking of teamwork, how do they seal up those cartons so fast? Like, blink and you miss it. There's another cool machine for that. The video called it an automated lid closing machine. Automated, of course it is. These things are like speed demons, just bam, 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 sealed and ready to go. They even mention a specific machine, the uh, MOBA Omnia egg grater and packer, I think it was. I felt like I was watching a sci-fi movie. It does sound futuristic, doesn't it? <laughs> but that's the reality of modern egg production. Okay, so we've got speed, we've got technology, but at the end of the day, it's all about quality, right? I mean, nobody wants a bad egg. You got it. And that's where quality control comes in big time. So it's not enough to just be fast. They got to make sure every single egg is up to snuff. Mm -hmm. What do they look for in these quality control checks? Well, they're looking for anything that might have slipped through the cracks. Yeah. Literally, you know, those hairline fractures we mm -hmm. talked about, they check for shell thickness. 
anything that might compromise the egg's integrity. Wow, so it's like a multi-pronged attack against bad eggs. The machines are weeding out the obvious flaws, and then the trained eyes of those workers are catching anything those sneaky machines might have missed. But the journey doesn't end there, does it? I mean, once those cartons are sealed and checked, they still gotta go somewhere. You're right, that's where things get even more. Chilly. Chilly. Intrigued. Tell me more. It's all about proper storage. And believe it or not, it's crucial to maintaining those perfectly fresh eggs. Nobody wants a spoiled omelet. You're preaching to the choir there, so how do they keep all those millions of eggs from going bad? Well, it's all about temperature control. Okay, so we're talking fridges, right? Like giant egg refrigerators. Basically. The video said they maintain a really specific temperature range, something like 7 to 13 degrees Celsius. You know, you're making me think I need to check the temperature in my own fridge. I might be storing my eggs all wrong, but I'm guessing it's not just about keeping them cool, right? There's got to be more to it than that. Oh, absolutely. It's also about careful handling and minimizing any big temperature changes. You don't want those eggs getting stressed out, right? Right. Happy eggs, happy breakfast. It's amazing how much thought goes into every step, even after those eggs are packed and ready to go. Yep, they don't just chuck them in a truck and hope for the best. Yeah. There's a whole system in place to make sure those eggs arrive at the grocery store as fresh as possible. You know, it's making me look at my morning scramble in a whole new light. It's not just breakfast anymore, it's like this testament to an incredible journey. Exactly. And speaking of journeys, there's one more aspect of egg production that we haven't even touched on yet. Hmm, what's that? Don't leave me hanging. The big S word, sustainability. Ooh, right, I remember the video touched on that. They were talking about all these eco-friendly practices they're implementing. Yeah, they're doing some really impressive things to minimize their impact on the environment, like water recycling systems, energy efficient designs, and they're even looking into renewable energy sources. So it's not just about making those top-notch eggs, it's about doing it in a way that's, you know, responsible, like they're thinking about the planet too. Exactly. They're thinking about the entire life cycle of the egg, from the hen to the carton and beyond. It's really a holistic approach. Makes me appreciate those little eggs even more. Like, knowing that they come from a responsible source, it just makes them taste better, you know? I totally get that. It's like you're supporting something bigger than just your own breakfast. It's about making conscious choices that benefit everyone, including those hardworking hens. Okay, so we've learned about the incredible journey of an egg from farm to fridge and all the fascinating technology and human skill that goes into it. But what does it all mean? Like, what's the takeaway for our listeners? What should they be thinking about when they crack open that next egg? Well, I think it's about appreciating the complexity behind something so seemingly simple. Right. We just take eggs for granted. Like, oh, just another ingredient. But it's way more than that. It really is. There's this whole web of technology human expertise, and sustainable practices that all come together to make those eggs a reality. We've seen it all, from those happy hens on the farm, to those incredible sorting machines and dedicated workers making sure everything runs smoothly. It's a symphony of egg production. That's a great way to put it. So, next time you're whipping up an omelet or baking a cake, take a moment to consider the incredible journey of those eggs. It's a reminder that even the most everyday items have amazing stories to tell. It's like a hidden world right there in our refrigerators. Exactly. And who knows, maybe this is just the beginning of our egg venture. There's always more to explore. I love that. That's right. Thanks for joining us on this egg extraordinary adventure. And we'll catch you next time for another deep dive into the world around us. You know, I think this whole egg journey really highlights something important. What's that? It's like, even those super ordinary everyday things, they have stories to tell, you know? Totally. We kind of just go through our day, not really thinking about all the like crazy processes and people that make those things possible. Exactly. It's easy to take it all for granted. But really, there's this whole world of like hidden stories all around us, like little miracles we just haven't noticed yet. And it's that curiosity, right, that makes us want to like peel back the layers and see what's really going on. Exactly. And the more we learn, the more we appreciate how everything's connected, like how our choices impact other people and, you know, the whole planet. Well, you've definitely given our listeners a lot to think about today, not just about eggs, but about like everything. I hope so. And maybe it'll inspire them to like dig a little deeper into other parts of their lives too. Right. Like what other everyday items have these crazy journeys? What kind of cool innovations are happening behind the scenes? Exactly. There's a whole universe of deep dives out there just waiting to be explored. So to our listeners, I gotta ask, 
what are we going to uncover next? Keep those questions coming because we are always up for a good deep dive. And that's a wrap on today's episode. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you next time.